Hey everybody, welcome back to another riveting edition on the Little Gardeners channel here. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And this is going to be the third update on the indoor aquaponics versus the indoor cracky hydro. Um, things are growing pretty well. Uh, you'll be able to see when I you know, show it to you, the difference is pretty much, uh, I don't think there's a lot of difference. There is some, and the hydro is edging it out in my opinion. Maybe you guys will see something different. But one thing I appreciate about it is that if I would have, well, I wouldn't say appreciate, but one thing is, you know, I probably could have got better results if I hadn't grown them so close together. Um, but, you know, that's one of the things when you put them inside like that, you know, you're in a tight spot, you don't have a lot of area to grow in. You know, you're looking to maximize space, and the product is going to be good. I've actually had some of the kale leaves already. I've uh, been putting them in my, um, my little neutral bullet thing there, and get me some greens in me in the morning. Um, plus there's plenty of other ways. So I'm going to be probably in about a week taking out all the lettuces and stuff and, you know, replant some other things. Probably leave the kale going. May even take some of it outside and put it in the outside aquaponics. Uh, because they always got, you know, kale can just keep on producing. A couple good kale plants, you'll have all the kale you want to eat for sure. Unless you just want to eat kale all day, every day. But uh, anyways, you probably could do that. So, it's been 24 days, I think. I don't know if I said that or not, but if I didn't, I'm saying it now. It's been 24 days since the original planting. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of a neat, neat little experiment. Either way, things are growing good. So let me go ahead and take you guys inside and let you check that out. Okay, what we have here is the first two aquaponics beds. Now... The aquaponic system they're on right here isn't very old. It's probably, I think this has been up and running for maybe three months now. So has it really gotten seasoned in good? Probably not. Uh, you can see that the lettuce is looking really nice. The kale is looking really nice, but it is definitely crowded. Really, really crowded. I mean, these, these grow boxes ain't very big. They're probably about, I'd say, one foot wide by maybe two foot you know, front to back, being about eight inches high. And let's go on ease over here and look at the hydro. Yeah, this is looking pretty good, ain't it? Look at all those lettuces in there. Getting ready to pick. It's a lot of greenery. Kale's doing really nice. Um, go over here on this one right here and look at the spinach plant. Then it's kicking into pretty decent gear. So yeah, if you notice, and let me back up and show you across the board if you span all of them. The uh, the hydro is edging out, and it's probably got more plants. Well, it's got about it's got the same plants in it as the other boxes do. So hydro is winning by a little bit, kind of what I expected, especially on that newer aquaponic system. It hasn't really got seasoned in yet. And if you notice too, if you see the kale here, how green, dark green, every bit of it is. And if you look over here on some of that kale, you see a little bit of discoloration, a little bit of deficiency. Uh, see right here too on that kale plant um, Lettuce is not looking so much a little bit of yellowing around some of the edges, but nothing Really that big time to take notice of Okay, let's go down to the other aquaponics bed and then we'll take a look at that and it's been seasoned in a little bit longer Let's see what it looks like Yeah, so here we are at the uh, The aquaponics bed that's been running a little bit longer Things are doing pretty good. There's a spinach plant, but if you can tell, it's getting this, all its light blocks by that kale leaf. I'm going to have to pick that kale leaf and put that thing in my morning smoothie. Um, everything looking pretty good. I don't see a lot of yellowing here. Um, I do see that, and actually i got a couple of bulbs in here that aren't the same as the other one. I'm going to have to change those out, because I do see like it's a little bit of a some legginess and some lettuce here. So, but overall, I mean, this kale, I mean, it's not, doesn't look like it's being deficient down here. The Rical plant, that thing is crazy. Growing all over the place. That's just like cilantro. I gotta pick a lot of that off and let it start drying out. Um, it smells and tastes just like cilantro. I guess there's a different version of it. So anyways, guys, the uh, hydro is winning out. And the aquaponics is coming good. So what I'll do is I'll come back in about a week or so and we'll just revisit it, take a look at it, and see if it's ready to take all the plants out. I think it's not going to be quite ready, but uh, it probably could send some out, and that would definitely help out on the others because it's just definitely overcrowded. But 
you know, like I say, sometimes I try to maximize space to get the most out of what's going on there. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to, you know, subscribe and like, hate, or whatever you want to do. Make your comments down there. And uh, you guys have an awesome one, and I'll see you next time.